for the Delta rain. Maybe I can't wait to leave. Can't concentrate on nothing. Doesn't know what tonight will bring. You and me all alone, my love. Looking all right, guys. So this review is going to be for my current wig, my blue wig that I'm wearing. Um, and this wig is from Magic Hair Company. Um, this... I got, I got, it's a story behind this wig, okay? Because I've had this wig for quite some time, and I would like to personally apologize to the owner of Magic Hair Company because I was supposed to do this review right after I got the wig, but I couldn't figure out what color I wanted it to be, um, how I was going to wear it, how I was going to style it, um, how the color was going to come out. I had to do the color twice because the first time something just seemed like it didn't want to work. I don't know. Um, but this was the end result of this color. Um, when I first received, well, when I first received, I went to the store here in LA, um, and I put all information, if you are in the LA, California area, I'll put all the information to the store below as well as the website. Um, I went in there and I was like getting my reviews, um, you know, ready. And she had this beautiful, it was, I was going to go for something different before. And then she had this beautiful blonde wig with these dark sitting up there and it was all big and I was like I want to try that like I've had like curly hair and big hair but I haven't like had a full wig that was like that um so when I got the wig it was just like this it was just as big but it was blonde it was uh like bleach blonde and I was like wow I wonder what this would look like because I was gonna wear it like that and I was like no I wonder what it's gonna look like so I pondered like lavender like what color do I want to do and then I thought like, you know, I did do blue before, and I really liked blue because it complemented my skin tone very well, but I wanted to try it in a different texture, just not straight or, you know, waves. I wanted to, like, have some texture to it. But the thing about getting hair that has a lot of texture to it, if you start to put too much color on it, it will become just a big mosh pit of what. So I was like, I don't want to do nothing too much because it'll be a lot. Because I was thinking red, but I was like, do something a little different. So I went back to what I know. I used the Adore Aquamarine. I used four bottles of it. Um, and the reason why I had to use four bottles is because in some areas it didn't, I, it was my fault because I tried to do it where I didn't get any of the color on the lace. So I was trying to be a little meticulous about it and I missed some spots. So I had to go back because it was some green in some areas and I don't want the hair to be green um I got this idea and I wanted to do this color because I seen Khaleesi's hair but hers was green and blue and I was gonna do both but I didn't know how it was gonna come out and I was a little scared that it was gonna be a little ratchet so I was like I don't think I want to do the green I think I'm gonna just leave it all blue so I used four bottles of aquamar aquamarine from Adore and I let it sit. I put it in the um, Ziploc bag and I let it sit for about four days, I want to believe. When I give you guys these these days that I let this hair sit, it's not because you have to do it. You could probably have it sit for a couple of hours and you might still get the same result. But the thing about a door is the longer you let it sit, the more it's going to deposit to the hair. So it's, it kind of turns from a semi-permanent to a permanent hair color. So... I knew the longer that I would let it sit, the more blue it was going to be. So I did the first round, and it wasn't the color that I wanted. So then I went back, and I did it again, and then I let it set. Um, once I did that, I rinsed it out, and I shampooed it with my lavender shampoo that I used on my gray hair. Because I'm like, I don't want to use any sulfate-based shampoos that will strip the color out, because then that just kind of wasted a couple of days. So I used that. It didn't make the hair purple at all, which I'm happy about because I don't want purple hair. I do not like purple. So I use this to moisturize the hair when I was all said and done. And this stuff worked like a charm. Um, it's a deep conditioner and it didn't, it smells good too. It didn't, um, strip the color at all. It, it's just white. Um, it didn't strip the color at all. It actually helped keep the color in as well as a couple of other products that I used too. But this was the main product that kept the, the, the integrity of the hair so it went back after i let it air dry i put some um i have the garnier fruities curl cream use this which is the garnier fruities curl 
yeah, the calm down curl. I've had this for a long time. I had this back when I was wearing curly hair like on a regular basis. I've had this for a while. Um, and I put this on the hair after uh, I towel dried it and I kind of let it air dry. And as I let it air dry, it was before I combed this out because it was very like flatter than this. It was more kind of like, hmm, like this. And kind of in the back, you can kind of tell like right here, it looked more like this. So before I combed it out, that's what it looked like. But I wanted this more big, untamed, but pretty look. So I just took my paddle brush and I just lightly went through all of this. Uh, not much in the back because I still wanted you to see the texture. I didn't want to take it all out so you guys didn't see what it, it was just a big bush. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much what it looked like after I did that. And it's been good. I had no shedding, which I'm surprised because usually curly hair sheds like crazy. But I have not gotten no shedding with this. Um, it took the color very, very well. There's no blonde pieces left. There's no hints of blonde. Everything is blue. All the way around, it is blue. Um, I don't know the exact specs on this wig because it was a display wig. But I will put all of the information below of the length, the texture, and all of that good stuff. Um... But yeah, I really like this. You guys know I'm trying to get, like I said in my previous reviews, I'm trying to get more into the natural hair, you know, for those who don't like to wear straight hair all the time. If you want to do the curly and the color like everyone is doing, this would be a good alternative to have this beautiful color, you know, but in a natural state. It's not this European look, you know, that everybody isn't into, which is cool. So, if you guys have any questions for me, please feel free to ask me below. Um, remember, this is from Magic Hair Company, and this was a custom unit. Oh, yeah, if you guys are trying to do your color or you want some, like, beautiful curly hair, this is perfect. This is perfect, because I see a lot of people with this, and it's not exactly what I usually like, but Khalees really inspired me, and I love me some Khalees. So, this was perfect. So, maybe I'll do the green in a different unit but maybe i'll do the, try the green curly that would be cute or whatever but i'm really feeling this nice aquamarine bluish color that i got going on so yeah i'll talk to you guys in the next one and i hope you liked it